It is May 24th, 2022. It's like 11.08. I should be at work right now, like for eight minutes. Um, but yesterday, well, I quit my job. In prob, like stupid, I, qu I stupidly quit my job, but hopefully it'll work for what I need it to because I still don't have the motivation to get my GED. But that's what I need to do right now, and that's why I quit my job. I have really big struggles with motivation unless it's something that I want to do and I do not want to get my GED right now because there's no point. What do I need it for as of right now? Not saying I'm not going to get it when I'm 18 because that's a whole different story. It's easier to get when I'm 18 because I don't have to sign a whole bunch of bullshit forms just because I'm 17. Um, but yeah, that's besides the point. There's some stuff I want to explain first and I've filmed it like three times now um but each time it's been shit I go fix you it's been surrounding why I make YouTube videos and when I used to do YouTube like a year to two years ago a year and a half ish and I used to upload, and I was with my other friend group, like Connor, Braxton, Logan, all of them. I uploaded because I wanted to get rich and not necessarily famous. I don't really care about fame. Actually, I don't really know, because now that I look back on it, I didn't really care for either, but I wanted one of the two. Because with fame comes knowing people, and I'm perfectly fine knowing people and not having money, but I'm also perfectly fine having money and not knowing... Mm. No, I am not. When I used to make videos, I used to make videos for, I guess, people knowing me. So I had connections, so I didn't need to do all this consumer shit, like get a 9 to 5, so I could make money to pay for gas to go back to work. Uh, and instead I wanted to film for the rest of my life, and I still do. But now I'm filming for a different reason. I'm filming because I really like carrying around a camera, capturing what I want to, and then making it together into a video. I also really like photography. It's kind of the same thing, except, well, not as time consuming. You don't have to sit through a three to 10 minute video, and I don't have to, well, film a three to 10 minute video and edit that three to 10 minute video. I can just take a picture, put a little creativity in it, and then like, post it somewhere and y'all get to look at it for as short or as long as you want. I'm making videos because I want to. I'm not making videos for anything after that. I'll probably... My videos turn out how I want them to. Um, I don't care what y'all think. I mean, I do, but like, I really don't. I'd like to hear your feedback like, hey, yo, this video was good, or like, this video sucked, or like, you're... But I'm not making videos for money, I'm not making videos for fame, I'm not making videos for YouTube, I'm making videos for myself, but YouTube is a really good place to store massive videos because it's in the cloud, I can delete it off of my computer afterwards, although I don't, and it stays there. And now that I look back on them, I really, really, really enjoy them. Like, I forget what I was doing a year ago, but I could go onto my YouTube and see. Thank you. This should be my chemistry. Oh, uh, Gabriel Filomino, let's go. Yeah. Distracted fuck, you know exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm going to pod. I knew that was going to happen too. Uh, is anything broken? Okay, my mic did absolutely fall off though, but it doesn't look injured. Oh. Uh, zoom, does the focus still work? Please? Okay, okay, oh, uh, nothing looks damaged, viewfinder. Viewfinder still works. No buttons look fucked. That was the second time I've dropped my camera. Uh, I've dropped it once before, and that was off the roof of Evan's truck. 
and like going 25 miles per hour because I forgot it up there. So I'm gonna slide you back in the little tripod mount and we can unbox this. That might look so fucked to y'all, I don't know. The camera's like all sorts of crooked, but I don't care. Hell yeah. So these are the uh, all of like the actual chemistry, like all the chemicals for developing film. There is the fuck is oh uh, thermometer. <laughs> I don't think this is what I ordered. I thought I ordered a candy thermometer. This is a deep fry turkey thermometer. But I actually don't. This shit is fucking huge. This is so much larger than I expected. Oh my god. This, these are the tubs. The Patterson tank is coming in a different order. All the cash just came off. It's just all me. I like doing stuff. I don't like paying people to do stuff. You know? Like, if I can do it, I'd rather just do it. It's more fun that way. So. Yeah. And, okay. I'm going to explain something real quick, because I just thought about something. So. When... One of the big reasons I am really glad that I quit my job now is I will actually have time to do this because I'm not hanging, I, I don't hang out with my friends in the morning, but I work in the morning, so I hang out with my friends at night, so I don't get any me time. All of my time is I go to, I wake up, go to work, and then... I get home from work, immediately my friend, me and my friends are hanging out, and I love my friends more, I love myself more, but like, I love my friends just as much, and I really love my friends, and like, I love hanging out with them, so I do. Think, 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 think. But yeah, if, now, if I was working a 9 to 5, coming home and having to deal with a family, I would never be able to develop my own film. And I would have to pay somebody else for that who is really good at developing film. And that's like an expense because I don't have the time to do it by myself. And there's somebody out there that's specially designed, or not specially designed, but like their occupation, their nine to five, and after they go home to their family and do nothing but tend to their family all day, that's their whole thing is developing film. But they have to pay somebody else to do everything else. Why can't we just do our own shit? Like, why don't we have time to do our own shit? I don't know, just a little thought process there. I don't even know if that made sense to y'all, but... I feel like... If people didn't work so much, like, even if we had, like, 30-hour work weeks instead of 40-hour work weeks, and work wasn't such a, like, ooh, pick yourself up by your bootstraps type of shit, then, like, people would have time to do stuff on their self, by themselves, and, like, better their skills. Because before I was in work, before I did work, like, before I turned 16, and I, around the half-ish of 16, it was school, and I was learning math, English, social studies or history and um science and like yeah those are useful but like i want to take photos and hang out with my friends and maybe like weld if none of that works out so what does that have to do with any of that shit everything else like my basis for staying alive not necessarily contributing to society, but my basis for staying alive, I am absolutely capable of without needing to like be really, really like end of high school, senior level high school, 
good at math and English and history and science. Maybe one of them, maybe two of them. But all four? Like, I, I kind of sort of know what I want to do. Like, I don't really know, no. Like, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing this all, like for the rest of my life. I'll probably take some breaks because I get really bored of it. But this just feels so natural. Like, I'm not even trying. But yeah, no, now I have, now that I have time to develop film, I'm gonna develop my film, and... I mean, like, tripping by yourself feels lonely, but I don't, I like tripping by myself. <laughs> There's I mean, on like, your roof. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just in life. It's just getting progressively worse. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Fuck, yo, first team, no, first no, team. no. First team, bro. Hey! hey. hey. That's fucked up, bro. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> I hit a roadblock. It's getting moved right now. Yeah, why the fuck is this bullshit down here? Oh, god damn it! Are there four more jack stands? Maybe. Dude. That might be an issue. That's a fuck. So, we have shocks here for the front. We've got lowering blocks for the back. And then there's new shocks all around. Cool. And that's it. It's really simple. Oh shit, there's a snail on the jack stand. It's not like a bad oh shit, it's just like a cool oh shit. Here, hold on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Alright. Sick. up this part? No. It can't be that hard. We need wrenches and sockets. Uh, <laughs> Can I 